Hi everyone! I hope you had an amazing Christmas day. Now in less than one week, it's gonna be June 1st and we have to eat some jumbo. Today, I'm gonna show with you my recipe and of course, if you want to make it, you can check for everything that you need in the box below. Before we start, I have to tell you that you have to look for jumbo and not pumpkin. Now, if you're not in Haiti or in the Caribbean, you can go in Haitian and Latin market. Now we need to get rid of the extra fat. We're gonna take every, each piece of meat and you're gonna take off every white part that you see. Take a sour orange or some lime, cut in half and then rub every piece of meat. and you can repeat the process now don't skip this step this is what makes creole dish so tasty Now I'm adding some salt, I'm gonna rub with my hand, and I'm adding some sour orange juice, or you can add vinegar. Let it rest for a moment, now of course always clean the sink and everything. I'm gonna boil some water. When it's done, rinse the meat and then pour the water over the meat and let it and let it um, for a few seconds. Okay, now I'm making a piece with some parsley, garlic, green pepper, and some vinegar, some green onion too. Blend. Add some salt. The piece. You can do that like the day before too if you want. Okay. I'm adding some cloves. Okay, it's done. Now we need to cook the meat. When you do that, pour over the piece and you can add some water, but a small amount of water. First, take off the seed. And peel them. I'm gonna cook the jumeau. We need to boil that. Now we need to peel the other vegetables. For the potatoes, rub with some lime to prevent them from getting dark. Okay. 
resuming my turning. Manning some more lime juice over the potatoes. Now I'm cutting the cabbage and don't forget to remove the thick part in the middle of each leaf. Okay, for the celery, I'm cutting one celery in small piece. I'm gonna add um, this one at the end. I don't want um, the celery to become too mushy. The other one, I'm gonna add it with some cloves. I'm gonna put everything in a cheesecloth so I can remove that easily when I'm done with the soup. And I'm adding more garlic. I'm gonna attach the sorrel leaves. When the show must be going to blend that. Transfer to the pot again. Add the meat. And strain the cooking water. in the cooking water of course it's gonna be really tasty you can add more water and the vegetables I'm adding the celery and the garlic the cloves the cabbage And the sorrel leaves. Now the sorrel leaves guy, try to find it as much as possible. It's not easy to find. I'm adding some salt but not too much at first. gonna continue to season while the soup is boiling and it's almost done we're gonna add the celery some oil
some butter. Some sour orange juice to give acidity. You can add um, habanero chili and the pasta. Now guys, sour orange juice and sour olives, those two make the soup taste really really great. I know sometimes if you're not in the Caribbean, it's not easy to find them. Take off your cheesecloth that has the garlic, um, celery, cloves, and also the soil seed. It's really really good. Oh my god, I'm really proud of me. So proud right now. So now my advice is that if you're planning on um, inviting friends, family, so do this early in the morning so it can rest, the flavor is gonna like blend perfectly together and believe me you're gonna be the star of the day. Okay people, so it's done for today. Now don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like our Facebook Facebook page and yes of course we have a Facebook page right now and also you can follow me on Instagram, I have Instagram too. So as for myself, I'm gonna continue, I have to film another video for you guys. So bye!